хочу одразу подякувати вам, пані Дерганті Європейської комісії, за щиру і послідовну підтримку нашої держави. Please uh, join me with your applause in welcoming Prime Minister Denis Shema to, of Ukraine to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Dear Mr. Federal Chancellor, dear Olaf, dear Madam President of European Commission, dear Ursula, dear friends, colleagues, excellencies, distinguished guests of this conference, ladies and gentlemen, this is Oksana. And in October 10th, she, look, she took her son to kindergarten and went to work at the hospital. Oksana saved children from oncology. A Russian missile killed Oksana in the center of Kyiv, in the middle of the street. Now we will see the video, and there will be these pictures. Actually, it is she, Oksana. And this is her family and she was doctor and oncologist. And it's actually what happens in the middle of October, in the middle of center of Kyiv. And this is Victoria. Victoria was soon to become a mother. On October 17th, an Iranian drone killed Victoria, her husband, and their unborn child. Russia destroyed a life that did not even have time to be born. This is 11 year old Artem. A Russian missile hit his house. Artem laid under the rubble of the house for six hours. Rescues and doctors fought for him, but the Russian missile did not give him a chance. This is the life that Ukrainians live today. Only in October, the terrorist country released more than 300 missiles and drones which were supposed to explode, burn ordinary people, destroy their houses, playgrounds, streets. If I woke up, it means I was lucky enough not to be killed by a Russian rocket. Every Ukrainian wakes up and goes to bed with these words for eight months. Russia had brought great pain, tears, destruction, and death to our land. 